Today's Juma will be at a slightly different location than the usual. Uh, we'll do it at the Blue Mosque today. The bus stop in uh, Athens. This place is called Kafisos. We're waiting for a bus to go to Istanbul. Um, it's a hot sunny day here but I read that it's about two degrees in Istanbul today. Um, tomorrow it will be about 9 10 so that's fine. Um, here we are. This is the bus that's gonna take us there. See that? It's the only bus you can take from Athens to Istanbul. From what I've known, from what I've known, and from what I've uh, researched, uh, the company's name is called Crazy Holidays. It's crazy enough because it goes to places where no one goes. That main bus station over there, right behind this building, has a lot of buses, but it goes to places in Greece. So this Crazy Holidays, it goes to. Places like Istanbul, Albania, and uh, some other places which not many people, not many conventional Greek would go. Our bus is at 5 p.m. It is almost 3 p.m. right now. We've got two more hours. It's a 16 hours bus journey. We'll probably reach there tomorrow morning. I've contacted the people at Airbnb, um, the guests, sorry, the host, and asking them if they could take us uh, for an early check-in. If not, we're back to the Greece situation where as we reach at about um, 8 in the morning, and let's see. excited over the entertainment so apparently all the movies that's inside the entertainment system is already dubbed in Greek so yeah it's English movies but has been dubbed Might as well take the flight. It's 
us up to about maybe 520 for four, but we only paid 180 for this one. So we got quite a bit of money that we saved that we can use for food and uh, for uh, our museum entrances and uh, places of interest in the stuff. Hello. Hey, hi. <laughs> Okay, it's a night bus and it's pretty comfortable. Mm -hmm. bus ride and we didn't go out we just slept all the way um, so we are out today out and about uh, in uh, Sultan Ahmed it's the mosque actually
Okay, now we have this pistachio baklava. We have, we are having also the strawberry cake. And this is a profiterole chocolate cake. Okay, you can see there's a profiterole inside the cake. This is an almond pudding. Not be deceived by this outlook, okay? It is like it the taste is out of this world. It's so good. Yep. It is so good. That's why I buy it. I have never tasted anything so good before. <laughs> this is the profiterole chocolate cake. Wow, what you, so, you guys are so quiet. <laughs> Ready? <laughs> you know it's good when they're quiet. <laughs> But it's getting haircut. The turkey tree. Today is our last day in Istanbul and it's also our last day for our entire trip. Okay, so we're going back tomorrow. So we're really, really excited. So right now it's 1 p.m. But it has asked me to go up for myself and then to discover the palace. Okay, because he has already been there. And, he, and, and also he's not feeling too good. So he'll be just resting at home and babysitting the kids so it's just me alone today it feels really weird without them but also very liberating so I've just been told that I can actually walk from the tra tram station to the Kabi Palace so Hello. No? So two minutes later, I got the tickets. Not because the queue is super fast, but because there's this guy who was selling uh, like a fast queue ticket. We have to pay five euro extra. Why not, right? We skipped the queue. Go in now. Buy it. 
I've gotten myself the audio. Okay, so to just better appreciate the surround uh, the surrounding as well as the museum. We're inside the harem. This is the Sultan Portraits area, but unfortunately, no video or camera is allowed. So I'm just going So basically, just now I went to the places where the videos or photographs are not allowed. Places like the um, Islamic Relic, where it showcases the the sword, the weapons, and some of the Prophet's uh, uh, personal belongings like his hair, his beard, and stuff like that. I also went to the yeah, the photographs of all the Sultans. So right now, uh, this is the audience chamber. Let's see. Oh, 
It's our last day in Istanbul. I can't believe we are ending our tour, three months tour, world tour today. Uh, before we say goodbye to this apartment in Sultan Ahmed, just want to show you guys. Uh, the host is Ahmed. This is a one bedroom apartment, and this is how it looks like. Bedroom, and then he has. Um, one extra bit here and this is a sofa bit here and then this is the and this is the view outside well that's our taxi waiting for us we are going to go to airport now so these are all stuff that we are going to donate uh, the uh, Istanbul has a lot of uh, Syrian refugees and we are not going to bring back all our clothes we're going to Put our, all these clothes to good use. And that's the laundry for our <laughs> towels. So yeah, so it has been a meaningful and, and, and wonderful ride for us. We are so blessed that we have this opportunity of a lifetime. Um, but it's now time to go home. Yes, please. Yes, and yeah. And if you think like, why do I we still have a lot of stuff? Even though we are giving like half of our stuff, it's only because we went shopping. <laughs> that bag is full of uh, souvenirs for family and friends. Are you guys excited? 